But where did we leave off in Purple World? I think Purple World might be my favorite visual design, but they're all good. I mean, the place we were just in is also amazing. We've got a bullet spot here, which I thought we did, but I don't remember. I guess we maybe couldn't have. So we didn't have silver at the time. So now I should obviously try that. There was one in each area, and we must have just not been able to yet. I love the bio-organic design. It's so cool. Oh, this is every orb. I need an every orb for this. <laughs> you know we're getting ready for a freaking odyssey if it takes every orb. I'm genuinely a little scared that I simply won't be able to figure these out. I hope they're they're very like slightly easier than uh, than the last ones. <laughs> they're not gonna be though. <laughs> Buy orbs again. Is this how you experience tranquility? You gotta mess with orbs to this level. Oh, that membrane surrounding the platform. Okay. Those pillars... I think require a drone. Oh. There's an eyeball sprout going on over there. What are those? Ah, there's our door. Just doing a bit of scouting before we really get in. And so we've got a bullet platform up, which we can reach. Too weird about that. However, we need to shoot it again, so this is the same principle as before, right? Or is this just delivering me one? Oh, it's just delivering me- okay, so it's saying you can't take silver with you because silver has to be the one to shoot this to send it. So what ball do I need to have over there is the question. What's the one ball you would take with you on a desert island? Oh, any ball. Uh, presumably orange. Because we could do the, the orange silver hijinks, right? Or no, that was the other way around. But usually it's this way. It's these two. Can you take two over? Uh, no, because there's no fountain to combine them yet. We're gonna get to that in a second, though. Which is probably where this is going, actually. So we gotta open the fountain now. Okay, yep. Yeah. Open up. Oh, I... Wait, could I just do the same again with green? What's stopping me from getting green over right now? Just a bit of busy work, maybe. Why would they make me do that? This isn't 
demonstrably the wrong thing to do. Bastard. So they specifically wanted to engineer a situation that el eliminates silver. <laughs> All right. We needed to create this loop again. And then we're gonna have to get silver back, presumably, in a minute or something. Right? Crystal Bridge? I'm not sure what that is. Oh! It's the Rainbow Bridge. Okay. Right, these weren't even available a minute ago. And this is where we do our levering. Right. Okay. So, what does this mean for us? That, that bridge doesn't work anymore, does it? If I put this here, same thing. This bridge still works. Right, okay, I can't use that side at all. Only onward. And I can't smuggle green inside of orange right now, because there's no way to pull it back out. So even if I brought it here, I could put it there, but then I'd only still have one. Oh, right. I can just... go through here. Because I don't need the other one. But now, how do I get... back in? I need the reverse of that? But no, you have to use orange to get to the bridge. So that's correct. I go in? What? What good is that? Uh, I, I, this seems close to being right, but not quite. I need green to come out of orange? That's what it is, isn't it? I need to go put green in orange, then do what I just did there in reverse, I think. The door is critical here. Oh, right. I can't put... No, wait. I said the other way around. I need to put green in orange. I'm in the reverse of that. Classic. Now we go through here? Yeah, it's playing the music again. I did it correct. It knows what I did. <laughs> now I can go through here... ...and take this up? Wait, what? <gasps> what even? I thought you just said, good god, in chat. <laughs> what abomination have I created? Uh... Those are going up. I obviously want the one with the most balls available in it. It has itself inside of itself. But it hasn't locked yet. 
Are we multiplying worlds? What's to stop me from doing that again? Just keep stacking them. Yeah, I knew you would do that. Is it gonna neutralize my balls back... <laughs> back to one? No, it hasn't done that. Oh my god. This is gonna get more ugly before it gets better. <laughs> that cat. Oh, that cat probably had its balls neutralized. So we've got a pillar. I guess I'll just do the thing. Was immediately like, how do I set this up so I can shoot bullets into it? <laughs> that would be sick if the final form is we get all balls inside of all other balls, but like an infinite recursion of them. So every ball has every other ball inside of it, and then it becomes the uber ball. And then I can do anything with one ball. Can you stack them even more? I don't know. I'm afraid, actually, to do that. I might destroy the entire universe. This doesn't go anywhere. Um, or does it? What if we're just inventing the blockchain? Oh, please, no. My- my heart can't bear it. If you had a ball, what would you put in it? Uh, a ball. Next question. Okay. Oh, we could also check that area. Sorry, I didn't notice that. We have to come from above, so that's a return path. So, what do I need to do? I know I just did this, but I feel like I'm not taking any information in. I need an orange. All I can do is go up. Which does that. What? I don't have any way to shoot silver into green anymore. Right, because that was the last platform I had touched. I solved it by accident. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Like, it, it locks in place when you touch one. Like a bonfire. Holds its status. Oh. Why are there so many of these broken bridges? Where's the crystal repair golem? Now what? Can I go back up again? Yep. So we got that. We want this one now? Yep. Oh, it's gonna clauncher me. Clam launch. It's a clanch. Something kind of Pikmin-like about this. It's weirdly pleasant in the green world compared to the other ones. 
Or I'd say this is the most pleasant, I'd say. Um... Button? Right. It's another... Place that... Send it over revert. So I'm using it as its own teleport location. Because it is green within green. Not sure how long this game is. I didn't want to spoil it for myself, so I didn't look it up. I thought I was about to approach the end uh, a moment ago, but I think maybe this might be the last bit, but I don't know. Oh, that's a that's a honey sucker. That thing is gonna steal my drone off. I don't have a drone yet, but if I did. We're gonna need to carry a drone past that point with that orb, uh, but I might need the orb prior. Ah, it's over here. I kind of want to brute force one of these. Oh! Oh, I love those. Pearlescent rainbow mushrooms? Or something? I don't know. Whatever they are, they're great. Alright, look for the symbols. Is that them in the water? There's little islands underneath. Oh yeah, uh, how long to beat is your your best way of finding out that information in almost every case. They pretty much got it covered. Can you see what looks like those symbols? I think I see them under the water, but I can't quite make them out well. That looks like a snowflake under there. Like, there must be information here why would I why would I go up, go up on this cliff is there like one on each side I'm often confused about which direction we're meant to read them from. That'd be sick if I just got that right on the first go. Nope. Give it three. It like oh there's one it's in the reflection oh my god <laughs> namico 2000 holy hell dude that's so generous just gifted 23 gift subs to the channel that is unbelievably generous thank you They went to Sydney Gogo, -Go, Dendrio405, Plural Kumquat, Taylor888, Rendra, Fluffy Red Panda, Dea, De Data TVM, McRid33, Rat Corpse, Alex the Shy Cat, Mirt, The Inns, Fnarp, <laughs> Foth Later, Roman About, I'm sorry, Roman Around, About Content, Tony Todorov, Wise Wolf, Malaeus, Maleficarum, Christian2468, Silbers, Gernburn, and Measles. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again, Namco2000. Okay, I see the reflections. I see Butterfly, I see Six Side. I don't know what I'm getting from that, though. Um, 
Just because I see them, I don't know what order they're going in, though. Is it from top to bottom, or...? Oh, and one of them is there. Okay. Uh... Yeah, clockwise, but where? I mean, starting at 12 o'clock, so, like, the first one would be here. So that's the five sides. Then the six, then the butterfly. Five, six... Either of those, okay. Maybe starting at the top left. Three, five, three, five, six. Okay. How are we supposed to know what order? I've had the same problem with almost every one of these drones and just like... Well, some of them are, are very simple in that you can't really screw it up too much anyway. But, uh, I don't really know with this one anyway what order we're meant to look at. So it almost turns it back into trial and error even when you have the answer, you know? Um, but maybe there's some cue here that I'm not picking up on? Is there anything that, like, denotes priority? I don't even know if it's meant to be clockwise or what. Try six first, since that's the first you can see. Isn't it just left to right? Oh, do we... Okay, so if I just take their verticality out of the question and just read them from the left to the right and just jump up and down that way, that's probably true, actually. Just forget about... Cl uh, any clockwise or anything like that. Just go left to right. So that would be three... Wait, is that the furthest left? No, the furthest left is bottom left. Ah, uh, this is probably true. Mm, or... Is it three butterfly? Five? Three butterfly, five, six. Tell if that's the farthest to the left. It, it shouldn't be. But then it's just blocked, so, like, this is the closest I can get, so that's... Butterfly is first? Three? Three butterfly or butterfly three? I don't know which. I think it's three butterfly. Oh, over here. Oh, right. So it's four first. Four, 
four, three, butterfly. Okay, and, and then five. All right. Yeah, I guess it should have been a little bit more complex for the presumably final drone puzzle. Uh, but that was a little tricky. It does make sense, though. I just wasn't thinking about it on that level. As has been the case repeatedly throughout this game. Excuse me. Nope. Oh, I didn't mean to overpress. It's a... It's a toggle. There we go. Right, now it's been long enough of me being over there that I forgot what I was now doing over here. Uh, we need to... Place the orb... First, then... Circle back into myself. Yeah, it's okay. Just come back over here. Oh, do you think there was an audio cue through that? I didn't even consider that. I know what to do there. Come back. I just have to activate this... ...now. So that's now our active platform. Then I'll send it away, and then I'll... ...use the fountain to the left to teleport me to it. Green into green. And then we never have to go on that other path. But I think I'll have no orbs. Is that okay? Oh, that's probably okay, because now we're going to be able to go get them. We just had to get this guy over behind the other side of it. Right. And you'll get locked now. Uh... Take that. Just get trapped again. Need an orb to take that. Uh, this only goes from. Oh, right. Then teleport back to the orb with that. <laughs> right, of course. I got myself worried for a moment. What is this? Mm, nothing at the moment. Alright, you stay in your crystal, because I don't think I need you yet. Yeah, that's... I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe another 
platform to move me later. And now I've come out the other end. Oh, I just need to bring my friend with me. Um... I think I'm meant to take this. Yes. That's great. That's like three layers of a puzzle smoothly integrated into itself. Very clever. And so now we've got full access across. What else do I need to do now? I got him through. Is there... Is there control for that? Like, this is supposed to take me somewhere, maybe? Can you put it inside orange? Uh, sure, let's do that. Why not? Might actually be a reason to do that. Do I need a robot here? Is another question. Probably not, no. I think we're locked... ...quite tightly to this position. But I can indeed. So now we've got a bajillion balls stacked into each other, but I can't use that for the usual things, just bridges now. And I don't think that's helpful, unless I need to go back with it. Oh, was this... All I was meant to do is to get the robot out of this world and bring it here. And I just went on a freaking journey. Yep. That's what it was. <laughs> the door slammed shut and now we can get... I freaking forgot this was even the point. I was so lost in the sauce with it. The sauce was sticky and sweet and I was lost in it. Right. Does this mean I can get silver back? Uh, how do I get silver back? It probably just taught me moments ago. Are there any other useful things over here? Oh, right, this. The key to it all. I forgot. This was the ultimate purpose of getting the robot. <clears throat> oh, it's got that iridescent shine to it. What is this? Oh. You're gonna imbue my ball with ultra power? I think it wants all the balls inside of each other now. Yeah. 100% that's what we're doing. Which means I just have to send them back across. Oh, wait. Uh, no, I need this.
So this portal is now shut for good, I think? Or do I have to repower it? I think it's shut for good. There's not that much else going on here. Looks like you do the puzzle to get the orange slash green balls over in reverse. That's not the problem, though. The problem is I need to get the silver into it. And I don't think there's any way... Oh no, I can take them all out and do it in this area, right? Yeah, I could do it here. Okay, that's fine. So just take them out. I thought I had to do it on the left side of that bridge, so you're right. I just take them over the, the platform path. Oh no, I needed silver for the bullet. Sorry. Yes, you're correct. I could use the purple puddle on the outside. I've been calling them fountains for some reason. Uh, leave that there. Go put those on the platform. Again, I'm like, I'm thinking six steps ahead in the wrong direction, so then I've got to back my way all the way back to reality. And then build myself in that direction. Yeah, it's too many balls. Imagine there was like ten. <laughs> it's chaos with four. Goodbye, platform. Again, cementing in progress. Oh, we got a little... Oh, this this. I thought it was a green in there as well. Actually, can I just leave the silver one here? Can I just leave all of them here? Or do they have to be stacked... I don't know if they have to be stacked vertically or if I can just stack them horizontally like this. We'll see. Like, they're all inside of this now. Is that good? Oh, it wants an order. Right. Green, purple, white, orange. So green is the top layer? I wouldn't have expected that. My brain just broke a little bit while I was trying to think about what I was meant to do just now. I was trying to think if there was any way that I could leave any in the positions they're already in, but it's probably easiest to just start from the beginning. So we want to fit purple into green. Oh wait. This is going to create the opposite effect. I have to start at orange? I have to put orange into white, white into purple, purple into green. Orange into white first. 
Sorry, I know this is like very basic and I'm still struggling. Ah, classic old chestnut of moving this over the bridge. I didn't expect that it would find its home there forever. Okay. So then we want to take white, orange, and put that into purple. Easy enough. Lots of spots for that. And then we want to take all of that and put it into green. Which there's just one spot for, I think, so that's probably to help me not overthink this. Because if you tried to do what I was trying to do before, you would have realized there's not enough spaces for it. Although I guess there's two if you did it the other way around. Anyway, let's see if this works. Yes. Success. There's a very, like, Kozo Runes Metroid Prime thing about it, doesn't it? Oh yeah. The ball of knowledge has been formed. I think this is where we ascend to heaven? Yep. Oh, we're leaving all our balls behind? Okay. Oh. The Brimstone world? Or is it? Oh, pretty! I love the volumetric fog and how it makes the light scatter. It's like an intergalactic uh, stoplight. Why is there a, a ball on the top? Is there a secret ball we've not heard about yet? Oh, it's gonna shoot us away. Off we go. On to our next adventure. Is this bringing us back to the very beginning? I think it is. Cool. Wait. Before I do that, I feel like a complete idiot if I don't at least take a moment to check the sides in case there's just like a collectible right here. But I'm pretty sure this is just where we were at the very beginning of the game. They just added that pedestal now. Yeah, the sound design's excellent, I agree. It's all excellent. Top form. Oh, totally could wedge myself in there. No secret behind a waterfall. You called yourself an indie game. <laughs> I really like these shapes of these rocks. It's so intricate. Alright, up we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah? Yeah? Is 
There's a skill tree. Wow. Have you figured out why it's called a cocoon yet? <laughs> yeah, someone who spent a lot of time making orbs in Blender recently. Uh, these are all top tier orbs. Excellent work. Again. us all. <laughs> so we became the cosmic deity, I suppose. That was amazing. Bravo, bravo. I don't know where you would take the puzzle design with that. The only thing I could think that would have made this a different experience, but equally enjoyable, would be if you could collect powers within the orbs as a sort of a permanent lock-in. I'm just a, this is, of course, my way of saying, what if it was a Metroidvania, which I can't, I can't stop myself. But what if they allowed you to position the orbs at a certain point where it sort of cascades forward and whatever you get, you then permanently have in the next one. But it wouldn't be as, as non-linear then. You'd always be moving forward with a ever-growing set of skills rather than alternating them, which it, it wouldn't be as interesting, probably. <clears throat> oh, their logo makes my eyes go funny. Kind of like the old Sega logo, actually. <laughs> yeah, they probably did think about that. That's the thing, is devs almost always think about any random crap that comes into my head because they've, you know, spent every waking hour and day thinking about these games that they're making for years. Uh, and I'm just having a passing thought, of course. But that's, you know, at first glance, what might have made for an interesting other experience. But honestly, this was, like, nearly perfect. Uh, I don't really think there's much else, much at all, that I could say to criticize it. It's just a really good puzzle game. It's a bit mind-bendy at a few points, where if you're not paying attention, I could see... Or even if you are paying attention, I could see you getting uh, a bit lost at times. But, like, that's the point it's a puzzle game so uh you know maybe it won't hit perfectly with everybody i'm not sure it has to i wish i could see more of those worlds i guess but like that's not a criticism it's just leave them wanting more which they did and that's good uh, i would love to see like what if you had 10 of those worlds? What would they all look like? What would be in those worlds? But, like, they've densely populated the ones they've got, so uh, I'd say quality over quantity is the best way to go, and yeah, I, I guess I'm just reaffirming their decision process because it was all good. Yeah, the complexity ramp did seem reasonable. Uh, I just stumbled a few times towards the end, which is fine. And thankfully you guys helped me out a little bit, too. More Rube Goldberging would be nice. I, I bet they've thought of that, and it was probably so overly complex at a point that it just stopped being reasonable to ask people to think that way. Like, your brain can only handle so many processes until it starts to break down. And I guess the only way you could do that is if you sort of force their hand, where the player has to do a thing in a certain area that creates the Rube Goldberg and then you fit it into place after the fact where you can't undo it and you can't mess it up, which 
kind of breaks the point of it because it won't feel emergent then. It'll just be like, well, the game gave me these tools and then told me how to use them. They rode the line just right where it still felt kind of like you figured it out, even if they mostly forced your hand into the right position. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't even think that I would have asked for that to be different. And uh, the length of the game, I think... I don't want to say it was too long. It certainly wasn't. It had its iterative process. But after a while, I started to see what was happening and like that we were going to do one set of complex puzzles for each orb. And once you get to the second or the third orb, you're like, oh, this was really tough. And then there's still this much more ahead of me. That is a little bit intimidating. And so I worry, will people ever have that feeling like I should bounce because like this is going to get too hard based on how hard it's gotten already? Um, yeah, the, the music confirmation was a nice touch as well. I appreciated that. I wonder if people will say this game was too short. I wonder, because, like, I remember after the Scorn discourse, there were people <laughs> saying both that it was too long and too short, <laughs> which is such a weird thing, uh, just depending on their own personal subjective, you know, what they took away from it. Uh, I don't think it was too short. I don't think it was too long. I think it was pretty much roughly in the sweet spot, ultimately. I think if you tacked on, like, another two hours of it from where I am now, I probably would have started to get a little frustrated. Unless the puzzles actually got easier, which is a weird thing to say, but... I mean, there is possibly room for that in some places. Uh, sort of a victory lap mechanism where, say, we got the uber ball, and then we feel ultra-powerful, and we can go solve a bunch of stuff that was kind of around the worlds before that was just not possible to do with the current configuration. That could have been kind of fun. But, uh... I, I think if we kept trying to stack difficulty and go on from there, it might have gotten to be a bit much. Many are playing it on Game Pass, so there won't be as many price versus length discussions. Yeah, that's true. And man, am I so tired of price versus length discussions. I know, it, it is a valid thing to sometimes talk about to a degree, but the scrutiny is silly. Uh, I, I mostly get it when it comes down to, like, I'm paying $70 for a game, and they want to get their money's worth, sure. But it also turns into the opposite discussion where it's like, I have to get this much out of this price, and if I'm, like, subjectively not a fan of the way the game uses my time, then it still feels like a failure to them. I wish we could just get over that a bit. You know, your $20, or your $25 in this case, well, once the sale's over, um, it's getting you quite an experience, and not every experience is going to be the same, and that's okay. We want that. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> A little bit of flying at the end would be nice, just to fly around the worlds. Yeah, that would be fun, sure. I wish I got to see a little bit more of that, like, opalescent, warm-hued uh, final area before that ended. Like, I was really enjoying the visuals of that. I just wish there was, like, a couple more branchy paths off of that. But it's all good. It's a great game. It was a very good game. I really recommend this one. I'm hoping to see what other people think about it in the coming days. I'm definitely going to see what Lynn thinks about it, see if she's into it or not. Um, yeah, I hope you all play it. Uh, if you haven't... Well, it, I hope you haven't spoiled it to such a degree that you wouldn't play it. I never want that to be the case. Uh, but I was really interested in seeing how that wrapped up or how hard the puzzles got. Because um, I, had, I had it in my head, the potential was... Maybe this was going to become unbelievably hard at the end and thankfully it stopped a little shy of that it was difficult but not unbelievably difficult um, and it was mostly just are you paying attention to what they just taught you a minute ago so you know that's fair 
All right. Well, that's going to be me for Cocoon. I hope you enjoyed all of that. Um, I will see you soon for the next thing. And uh, thanks very much for watching. You know, have a great one. Thanks for being here. Take care, everybody.